Hi there. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the basic functionality of the GM07 and GM08 Gauss meters from Hertz Magnetic Instruments. The first thing I'm going to discuss is the difference between the GM07 and the GM08. The key difference of the GM08 is the connectivity ports located on the end of the Gauss meter. The GM08 has a 3 volt analog out connector located in the top left, a power supply connector located in the top middle, an RS232 connector located in the bottom right and a USB connector located in the middle right. The USB and RS232 allow the connection of the GM08 to a computer. The GM07 does not have these connectivity ports, only the probe connector, however the software is exactly the same and so will be the steps in this video. Next is the function submenu. This allows you to change the Gauss meter into different modes of operation. First, DC. This function measures magnetic flux density or magnetic field strength of a static or DC magnetic field. Next, DC peak. This function measures the peak positive DC magnetic flux density or magnetic field strength. This reading is updated with increasing measurements. Once a maximum measurement has been reached, this value will be held until the reset key is pressed. In peak modes, you can only take positive readings. To take a negative reading, you would have to turn the probe over. Next is AC. This function measures the true RMS or root mean square of an AC magnetic field. The measurement is a true RMS measurement but does not include any DC components of the magnetic field. AC max measures the maximum true RMS of an AC magnetic field. Finally, AC peak. This function measures the positive peak value of a time varying AC magnetic field. Like DC peak, only positive values can be measured, but negative ones can be measured by reversing the probe. This is a continuously updated measurement. The units menu can be used to switch the Gauss meter through the four different available units. Tesla, Gauss, amps per meter, and Ersted. The capture menu allows the user to capture, save and recall up to 99 measurements. Save on and save off submenus allow the user to toggle the save function within the GMI. The save function allows the storage of taken measurements using the hold button on the probe. Recall on and recall off function allow the recall of up to 99 save samples that were taken using the save function. The samples are saved as registry entries with the designation R, then the number of the sample. The save samples can be navigated using the first and next functions within the recall submenu. The hold on and hold off function allow you to toggle the hold button on the probe. When hold on is selected, you can temporarily store a reading by holding the probe button. Finally, the utility submenu. The first option is the null function. This allows the user to quickly null the GMO8 on the probe, which is useful for taking very sensitive readings. The auto zero function allows the user to perform an auto zero calculation using the zero gauss cam that is equipped with the GMO7 and GMO8. The power down function allows the user to change after how many minutes the gauss meter will shut down.
The language option allows the user to change the language from a number of different worldwide languages. Finally, the DC filter is a time average DC filter which is used to reduce the amount of thermal noise. The sampling rate can be customised using further submenus in the DC filter.